Hello everyone. I welcome you to a journey that dwells into the heart of matter and energy. Today, we embark on an exploration of the captivating realm of atomic and nuclear physics. So, fasten your seatbelt and prepare to be captivated by the wonders of the atomic and nuclear world. Radioactivity. Radioactivity is a process by which certain unstable atomic nuclear undergoes spontaneous decay, emitting particles or electromagnetic radiation. This decay is a result of the nucleus seeking more stable configuration. The emitted particles can include alpha particles, helium nuclear. Beta particles, high energy electrons or positron, and gamma rays, high energy electronic radiation. There are two main types of radiation one is the natural radiation, and the other one is man made radiation. Natural radiation is, is a type of radiation which is originate from natural sources and includes background radiation from the Earth and the cosmos. It includes radiation from radioactive elements in the Earth crust, cosmic rays from space, and radiation from sun. Meanwhile, man-made is generated by human activities, such as nuclear power plant, medical procedure like X-ray, radiation therapy, industrial application that involve radioactive materials. Consequences or implication on natural radiation and memory. Both types of radiation can have hard implication and their exposure is regulated to ensure safety and minimize risk to human health and the environment. Radioactive decay. Let's look into radioactive decay is a nuclear process by which atomic nuclear of an unstable atom or isotope loses energy by emitting ionizing particles. Through emission, it is unable to reach more stable atomic arrangement that is less likely to decay. Alpha decay is an unstable nucleus. Emit alpha particle which consists of two protons and two neutrons. This emission reduces the atomic number of the nucleus by 2 and mass number by 4. Let's look at an example of uranium. Uranium atomic mass is 238 and the proton number 92. It decays to thorium of atomic mass, it becomes 2, 3, 4 because it uses or reduces the atomic number of nucleus or mass number by 4. And meanwhile, the proton number of thorium is 90. After emitting a billion nucleus of atomic mass, 4 and proton number 2. Beta decay involves the emissions of beta particles, which can be either beta minus or beta plus. In beta minus, a neutron is transformed into proton and emitting electron beta minus particle and anti neutrino. This increases atomic number by one. In beta plus decay, a proton is transformed into a neutron and in a position beta plus particle and neutron. This decreases the atomic number by one. Example, a cesium of atomic mass 137, proton number 55, decay to barium of atomic mass 137, proton number 56. After emitting electron of proton number 
Lady Book 1 and Andy Lutherman. Gamma decay involves the emissions of high energy gamma ray, which are electromagnetic radiation, photon, or very short wavelength. Gamma ray are emitted when a nucleus in an excited state transition to a lower energy state, releasing excess energy in the form of gamma radiation. Gamma decay does not affect the atomic number of mass number of the nucleus, but can lead to a more stable nuclear configuration. The atomic structure in properties. Classical atomic model. The atom consists of 99% lithium and 9% metal. The metal aspect comprises of nucleus with one or more negatively charged electron with close to zero mass or between one and eight. Rutherford's scattering is a plan to see what is inside the atom. The gold atom in the gold foil with the positively charged alpha particles as shown. Due to MP, empty nature of the atom, most alpha particles pass through three. The remaining few alpha particles are either deflected or repelled backward strongly. Scientists concluded that atom is comprises of large, largely empty space with positive charge and most atomic mass concentrated in a small region at the center called nucleus. You can see from this diagram. This is considered, the whole thing is considered to a nucleus. And this is shown that a small depression and most alpha undetected. And if it is the line is below this line, we consider that alpha undetected backwards. And you can slide this, it shows that no deflection. And this diagram show the label of position of nucleus. The total number of positive, positive charge proton found in nucleus we use proton number. This is a proton number or denoted by symbol Z and we also call it atomic number. Total relative mass of nucleus we use mass number denoted by a symbol A also represent known as nuclear number. Also two are the same chemical element that have the same number of proton. Thus, the same chemical properties, but different number of neutron in the nuclei. Because the number of proton determine the element's identity, isotopes of the same element are chemically identical. However, the different number of neutrons lead to variation in atomic mass. Example, you can see uranium, where they are the uranium, but having the same mass number, atomic mass number. One is two, three, four, the other one is two, three. There are two types of isotope. One is non radioactive isotope. There are atoms with more stable nuclear, far less likely to nuclear. And the other one is a radioactive isotope. They are atoms with unstable nucleus and thus likely to nuclear. Let's look at some of the examples for applications for radioactive isotope. We have a nuclear reactors, medical used in a radio tracer in imaging, and carbon dating uses the decay of carbon-14 isotope to estimate the age of organic material. With that being said, that's all for today's presentation. Please don't forget to subscribe to John Stabula YouTube channel. Wish you all the luck in your upcoming examination. Hope to see you in the next presentation. Thank you very much.